the Paul Hudson Weather Show on the BBC across Yorkshire, Lincolnshire and the North Midlands. Back in August, we had a chat on the Weather Show about a village in Cheshire which is doing its bit for the planet through sustainable living. Following my chat with Gary Charnock there at Ashton Hayes, we found out more and more communities who are trying to reduce their environmental footprint by exploring new ways to produce and consume energy, treat their waste and produce their own food. Well, the answer could be something called biogas. Well, to talk more about this subject, uh, Andrew Olmrod from the Global Biotechnology Transfer Foundation, David A. Poggio from the University of Surrey Isabel Project, and Simon Tilly from the Hockerton Housing Project near Mansfield. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. OK, well, we'll start with David A. Poggio. Uh, what is biogas and how would it work? So biogas is like uh, fermentation, like the same thing you do with the uh, with beer, but instead of producing alcohol, okay, mm -hmm. you produce gas, you okay. produce methane. So then this methane, you use it for whatever you want, for cooking, for heating your house, for district heating, for producing electricity, for putting your local bus and, and going around and collecting more food or food waste or distributing food. So it's a biological process in itself. So you just imagine a big tank you put inside the waste, your food waste, your manure, your sewage, microorganism inside they eat it and they produce gas that is our the product we want and the difference with for example burning okay is that all the nutrients that keep us alive the fertilizer comes out as liquid and then you distribute this liquid to the land to horticulture to hydroponics to okay whatever you want to create food into the community so this is the technical bit. And then from the social bit is really connecting. So it's a connector of different sectors that you have in a community. So, so you connect the hotel that produce waste with, for example, the farmer that needs your nutrient and, I don't know, the school that needs energy to heat. So it's also a kind of a friendly technology. It helps us to stay together somehow. Yes. Well, I mean, over to Simon, I mean, one example of how the Isabel Project has come to a community is the Hockerton Housing Project uh, near Mansfield, not so far away uh, here, from here in Yorkshire. I mean, how does it work for you, Simon? Well, it's at the early stages for us. We're, we're really interested in sort of controlling our own energy supply. So we're a, kind of a small community of five houses in a village of about 50 houses. And, and we've currently got our own autonomous site, so we're producing energy from the wind with uh, wind turbines and the sun with photovoltaic panels. And we're looking at biogas as a way to plug some of the gaps, really, for us. So uh, maybe in transport or, or making electricity when the wind and the sun aren't blowing. So those are our sort of thoughts behind why we want to get involved. I mean, is there enough waste to make this viable? Well, there's certainly is where we, we have a sort of like small allotments and we produce quite a lot of our own food from that. And we have a very large compost bin each each week in the house or maybe more uh, that each of the five houses are producing. And that's would be sufficient, we think, we hope, to produce this biogas. Let's come back to uh, Davide now. As I understand it, we're not quite there uh, with your vision of biogas. Why is that? It does cost a little bit to put out this infrastructure. But the point is, let's consider all the benefit long term of creating local jobs for creating food, for growing more food, educating people about recycling. Uh, these new sources of waste that are around your community and eventually you don't know they are there. Increasing the biodiversity. So the other day, for example, some guy was telling me, well, you know, we need to remove when people cut the verges of the road, instead of letting the grass rot in there, let's remove it because then these verges will start flowering. At the moment they flower, they cannot come out because they are suffocated by this. So it's all about, with the community understanding, okay, how we can make a transition. We, do we value all these values, biodiversity, new jobs, uh, local food production, uh, less pollution, okay? At the moment, the market is not putting a value in these things. So with the community, we sit down and we make new business model. We create new social enterprise that will take care of all this vision. And so this is the idea. And that's the objective of the project, you know? Uh, 
really having this long-term vision and making experiments. So we are quite sure that we can start doing some experiments like with Simon and show that this is feasible. Andrew, can you give me some examples of what people are doing at the moment and how biogas is already working for them? I came across a couple of examples in Ireland, actually. One is Camp Hill Community at Ballytobin in Ireland. They provide a venue for training people with learning needs and they try and be, they have their own policies, but they try and be as self-resilient as possible. So they're growing their own food and they treat their own sewage. Mark Dwan, who's in charge of that, was interested in being energy resilient. So he's actually established a biogas plant, which provides the heat for the whole college there and also electricity through a combined heat and power plant because they have such an amazing facility and such a nice dry atmosphere they're home for a, a very special concert piano ireland is a rather wet country and actually it's one of the few dry places where they can actually keep the piano in tune there. <laughs> well look um we're, we're, we're out of time but it's a fascinating subject and of course this uh, if if it works on mass will help us all cut our carbon footprint which is what it's all about thank you i wish we had more time to be honest because it's fascinating but andrew davide and uh, simon thank you very much for joining us talking to us about biogas this is the paul hudson weather show on the bbc well, more